According to the statistics, 52% of all employees are feeling burnout. So that means that actually every second human being is burned out. I am not, so it is you. Hey friends, welcome back. But <clears throat> hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are speaking about emotional burnout at work. Honestly speaking, me personally, I never felt burnout symptoms, so probably I'm not the best person to speak about burnout. But wait a moment, maybe that I never been burnout makes me the best person to speak about burnout. I am the one, the one. In this video, we will cover what is burnout, how I prevent burnout for more than 10 years of hard work, and what to do if you failed to prevent burnout and 10 quick advice, how to live after burnout. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe buttons and write about your burnout experience in the comments. So, burnout is bad. I saw it many times. My colleagues, my friends, my family members, many of them experienced burnout. In the cycle of work and other responsibilities, many often forget about themselves, their happiness and what is really important to them. And the time spent resting and taking care of yourselves seems to be wasted. Even when fatigue, depression, health problems appear. If you stay in this state for a long time, you can burn out. No! God, please, no! 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 Burnout has become a serious problem of our time. Millions of people think in horror about Sunday night. Oh, hey! and get sick on the way to work on Monday morning. And when they imagine how long to endure until Friday, they get even worse. All these characteristics of burnout, a state of emotional, physical and mental, exhaustion. According to the World Health Organization definition, burnout is a syndrome recognized as a result of chronic stress in the workplace that has not been successfully overcome. It spreads to other aspects of life and manifests itself as follows. You feel exhausted. You have no strength for anything. Sleep problems and flu-like sometimes may occur. It is difficult for you to concentrate. The brain seems to shut down and sink into a fog that can last up to several hours. You are annoyed and unhappy and you criticize yourself too often. Stop it! Get some help! You get tired of too bright light and too much noise. Supermarkets and similar places start to put pressure on you. You are no longer happy with the fact that you used to love before and there is nothing you can do about it. No matter how long the rest lasts, you still wake up tired. You can't go without caffeine through the day. Often you work so hard then you forget to eat. You really want fast food and sweets in large quantities for energy. Surprise. Now, when we know the symptoms, let's get clear what is the reason of burnout. Psychologists distinguish three subtypes of burnout caused by overload, lack of development and indifference. Each of them needs a different approach. Overload. This subtype is common among those who work fanatically to the end despite being tired. More often than not, these people try to cope with burnout by letting off steam and complaining about their boss or job organization. However, this does not help, it only increases stress. Lack of development. It occurs in people who do not have the opportunity to reach their potential at work. To cope with stress, they distance themselves from work and this causes discouragement and cynical attitude toward tasks. Indifference. This subtype of burnout occurs when a person gives up in response to con constant stress or lack of reward. He or she feels that he is not in control of the situation and begins to feel indifferent. As a result, he lacks the motivation to overcome obstacles on the way to the goal, even if they want to achieve it. 
Any burnout is like a leaking pipe from which it drips for months or even years. Seriously. However, at some point it will burst and water will flood everything around. Therefore, it is important to notice the symptoms in time and choose the right treatment. Of course, it's possible to fully avoid burnout and I was doing it for many years and continue in the same manner. But that works not for everybody. I will reveal my secret in the end of this video. I noticed that skilled professionals are less susceptible to burnout. By the way, about skills, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. It is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and there are always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow whenever your creativity takes you. Skillshare offers membership with meaning, with so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives. Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real graphs. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Let's just quickly check what Skillshare offers in the field of burnout cure. Here you can see all the classes available. Coming back to the topic, how to cope with burnout if you fail to prevent it. Build your pace gradually. With burnout, you won't be able to write a long article or create a new product right away. Start small. Small victories will gradually strengthen you. Use this boost of confidence to succeed in bigger tasks. Over time, you will return to normal performance levels. Use visualizations and self-hypnosis. Self-hypnosis is based on a change of subconscious beliefs. To do this, you need to repeat positive attitudes over and over again. <laughs> Moreover, they must have emotional reinforcement. For example, say to yourself several times every morning, I have high self-efficiency. Sometimes I burn out, but then I recover and achieve success. Become an example for others. You will inspire others by your example as you build faith in yourself. Remind yourself of this. Their emotional uplift and increased performance will inspire you in return. The result is a vicious circle that is useful for everyone. Learn to deal with anxiety. For many, anxiety is one of the main factors that reduce self-efficiency. To deal with it, follow this plan. If you notice your excitement, pause. Identify disturbing thoughts. Evaluate how reasonable they are. The most common cause of anxiety is contrived fears. If you have more serious anxiety problems, see a specialist. How I prevent burnout. My secret is simple. I don't give a My secret is simple. It consists of two parts. Part number one, increase self-efficiency. Face in your actions and the ability to achieve success. When it falls, burnout sets in. According to researchers from Stanford University, the level of self-efficiency depends on four factors. Direct experience, having successfully completed an important task and become confident and elated. It is the most reliable source of personal effectiveness. <laughs> Indirect experience, when others succeed in in a job that you want to do well, it is encouraging, especially if these are people you look up to. Thoughts appear. Since other can, then I can. Believe. Self-efficiency rises when someone important to you says you can handle it. For example, parents, spouse or mentor. Physiological and psychological state. Anxiety, stress and constant fatigue reduce self-confidence. I am very confident in what I am doing and I am confident in success of my actions. 
And the second part is directly related to the first part. I always have a plan. Plan A, plan B, best case scenario, worst case scenario. I am always prepared for everything. Nice. Now it's time for 10 quick advices about burnout. Start your day right. Eat a balanced breakfast that includes complex carbohydrates, dietary fiber, protein and healthy fats. Keep track of when and how much you eat. Try not to overeat or eat late at night. Move on your lunch break. Sign up for a half an hour workout at a nearby gym or simply go to lunch at a cafe that's far from the work. Don't forget about strength training. This improves bone density, increases the strength of uh, connective tissues, muscles and tendons. And this reduces the risk of injury. Listen to your body. If you're stressed or exhausted, intense interval training will only increase your body's adrenaline levels. So do yoga or go for a slow jog. Conversely, when you feel sluggish, do something more energetic. Go to bed and get up at the same time at all times. And even an hour before that time, do not use electronic devices and start an evening ritual. The brain loves a routine. Over time, brain will associate the routine of evening with a feeling of sleepiness. Do not work on holidays and weekends. No matter how many things you have to do, take some time to rest. It will reduce stress and improve your mood. As a result, you will be more cheerful and faster to cope with the things. Set personal boundaries. Learn to say no and explain what is acceptable to you and what is not. Don't let others abuse your kindness. Remember to let off some steam. This will help you relax and relieve stress. Plan. Think about week ahead to identify high-profile things to do and see if there is anything you can do ahead of time. This is all for today. Prevent burnout and don't forget to constantly evolve. Bye-bye.